everyone, it is Mona Hair Craft Clutch. Today we're going to do a Halloween craft and it is a dollar store Halloween craft. We're going to create a little Frankenstein. I'm going to use multi-surface paint to paint this Frankenstein and I'm going a little bit lighter than maybe the traditional Frankenstein, but I want there to be enough contrast between the face and the paint. So I thought it'd be good to go lighter. So all I'm going to do is just paint the inside. And I'll probably end up doing two coats. So we'll let it dry and come do a second coat. While our votive is drying, I have these two pegs. They have little holes on the bottom. And I'm going to just use these instead of regular bolts because I think they'll be easier to glue on to the glass. I'm going to use some silver acrylic paint and I'll just give them a couple of coats. And we'll just let these dry. The paint has dried in here and so has the paint on our bolts. Now you can paint right on here but I'm going to use um, a paint marker instead. And all you need is black depending on how you want it to look but I'm going to draw Frankenstein's face on here. And I'm just going to start with the eyebrows, with the brow, I guess. We're going to give him a grumpy expression because, well, he is Frankenstein. Then we'll give him his hairline. And I'll just color that in. Again, if you wanted to paint it instead of coloring it in with a marker, you could do that too. And these are paint markers. And then we'll give him a scar right up here. And there's our Frankenstein. Now I have my hot glue gun going. And you can do other glue as well, or a combo of the two. I'm just doing hot glue for this one. And I'm going to put it down toward the bottom because they are neck bolts. I know some people kind of do them as ears sometimes, but I think they're kind of neck bolts. Here he is all finished. It was a pretty simple project. I would use a battery operated candle in the votive just because you do have the paint on the inside. I hope you like him. He is an inexpensive dollar store craft. And these things I got at the craft store, but they're inexpensive too. They come in a bag with like at least four of them, I think. So be sure to let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed Frankenstein and you can do the backside too and have it on both sides if you wanted to. Or you could draw his hairline around if you wanted to as well. But I hope you guys like him. It's an inexpensive craft for Halloween. I think this would be a fun one to get the kids involved in too because I think they'd make some fun little faces on there. So I hope you like it. Thanks guys so much for being here. And I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer. So grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye guys.